Dave Palumbo here with a little RX Muscle supplement science for you guys. Today's topic is going to be fiber. You know I'm a big uh, proponent of fiber. I have a great species nutrition product called Fiber Lies. There's a reason I developed it. I think that fiber is one of the, you know, we always say the, the, the three macros in nutrient. We say protein, we say fats, we say carbs. We always forget fiber. Fiber is technically a carbohydrate, but it's an unabsorbable carbohydrate. So. I almost think it deserves its own category because it's so important and so many people forget about it. And the reason we forget about it is, let's face it, we're not eating bowls and bowls of oat bran, of oatmeal, to get that you know, fiber in there on a daily basis because we're, we're very carb conscious you know, as far as bodybuilders, especially when we're dieting and trying to get ready for a competition or just trying to look good you know, for the beach. Uh, carbs just don't work in the program in extremely high amounts and we need a lot of fiber in our diet. Um, you know, a lot of people say, you know, uh, to me all the time, you know, Dave, when I diet, I can't go to the bathroom. I'm constipated. Ah, I sit on the toilet and strain and I can't get it out. And I know people send me updates sometimes and they're up three pounds and, and they're dieting their butts off, but they haven't gone to the bathroom in a week. It's not normal to not go to the bathroom for a week, okay? I have to tell you, I would say that 80% of the women that I work with when I first start training them, they're constipated on a regular basis. And that's not good because when that waist sits in your colon, okay, that leaves you much more uh, prone to getting you know, colon cancer later in life. You do not want stagnation in the gut. Likewise, as, as physique athletes, we want our food moving through us so that we can have a small waist, right? We don't want that food stuck in there. And the lack of fiber in the diet is the number one cause of why people are constipated. And for some reason, because women have weaker uh, colons and digestive tracts in general because they have less muscle mass, they tend to suffer from constipation more. Also, as we get older and we lose muscle mass in the colonic you know, uh, structure in our body, we also get more constipated. So fiber is the personal trainer, as I like to call it, of the gut. It goes, gut, come on, work, 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 because you can't go to the gym and train your, your, your colon. You need something that's going to involuntarily cause the gut to contract, and that's what does it insoluble fiber and soluble fiber, okay? You need both. And what it does is it's a stimulus and makes the gut work. And when the gut works, the musculature gets stronger, and when the musculature of the gut gets stronger, okay, and it moves faster, we get, we get contents or the waste products moving through the intestinal tract faster, okay? There's nothing better than to wake up in the morning or before you go to bed to be able to sit on a toilet bowl and just go to the bathroom and not have to strain. Number one, because you're not going to get hemorrhoids, okay, and you're not going to you know, break blood vessels down there. And number two, it's just healthier to get the, these waste products out of your body in a timely manner. Because your body can only process, build muscle, burn fat as efficiently as you can get rid of waste from the body. That's a very important point. Now, um, a lot of people also come to me with blood work, and I read probably thousands of blood works a year. Um, a lot of people, you know, I send out, you know, free blood work suggestions that people get. And then people ask me, hey Dave, can you look at my blood work? If it's pretty routine, I, I take a look at it. If it needs you know, explanations and, and, and we need to solve some problems, you know, I do consults with people on this. But the number one thing I see on a lot of bodybuilders, and it's mostly probably because it's genetic, because a lot of people who work out eat usually pretty well, high LDL cholesterol. That's the bad cholesterol carriers that carry cholesterol around the body and dump that cholesterol into the blood vessel walls, into areas that shouldn't be. We don't want high LDL cholesterol. You know, a lot of people eat really well and they're like, why is my cholesterol high? And it's a lot of times, like I said, it, it has a genetic component. Soluble fiber, come, especially really potent soluble fiber, concentrated soluble fiber that comes from psyllium. Okay, psyllium is, is eight times more potent on a gram for gram basis, okay, than oat bran. Psyllium, okay, basically binds up LDL cholesterol in the gut and pulls it out of the body. So it lowers serum levels of LDL cholesterol. The reason why the, the, there's, there's cholesterol in the gut is because when the gallbladder releases bile, it releases LDL cholesterol in, into, the, into the bile and into the gut. A lot of times though, it just gets regenerated, it gets reabsorbed, but fiber binds that stuff up and pulls it out of the body. So when you take a good fiber supplement twice a day, you're getting rid of LDL cholesterol. It's the number one Quickest way to lower LDLs if you have high LDLs. I put people on Fiberlize two servings a day and their LDLs go down in like two to three weeks. That's very, very fast. And that's, that's something that alone, that's a, a good reason alone to take 
a fiber supplement. Metamucil before, you weren't allowed to make claims anymore. Nowadays, you, have to, you can't really say that it lowers LDL, but you can say that it, it improves heart health. That was their number one selling point uh, for Metamucil. And Metamucil is not even a good source of psyllium. It's a, it's a low-grade psyllium. There are different grades of psyllium. You always want to use the highest quality with the biggest swell rate, and that's what we use in Fiberlize. Once again, quickest way to lower LDLs. Now, I have a lot of people contact me and say, hey, Dave, you know, I'm dieting. You know, uh, Fiberlize has 9 grams of carbs in it, and you want me to take it twice a day? That's 20 grams of carbs. I'm following the ketogenic diet. Is that going to screw me up? And the answer is that fiber is by definition a non-absorbable carbohydrate. So if you're ingesting nine or 10 grams of, of fiber twice a day, 20 grams of you know, carbs, they're non-absorbable. Okay, the way we calculate absorbable carbs or what we call net carbs is we take the total carb content on whatever you're eating or consuming and you deduct off the fiber co content. So if you're getting in 10 grams, let's say you're getting 20 grams of carbs in a meal you're eating and there's 10 grams of fiber, only 10 of those grams is, is what we consider net carbs that can be absorbed. The other 10 are not. In a fiber supplement like Fiberlize, if the nine grams, almost all nine grams of them are non-absorbed because it's all fiber. So that's something that you don't have to worry about. You know, I would never tell anyone to take a, a product that has a lot of carbs in it anyway. Now, there are fiber supplements out there that have net carbs in them. So you have to be careful when you read the, 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 you know, the, the labels that you're getting you know, all non or all fibrous carbs. That, that is a concern, but not with a product like Fiberless. Once again, read your labels. One of these days, I will do a course, I promise you guys, on how to read food nutrition labels. Now, one of the, the advantages, I think, of fiber that is really, uh, un, un, I guess you could say, unsung about, is the detoxification aspects of fiber. What a lot of people don't realize is that we're constantly releasing toxins from our body, from the foods we eat, from the creams we rub on our body, to the heavy metals that are in the fish we eat. These, these toxins do get released into the in intestinal tract to get eliminated from the body. The problem is a lot of times is we reabsorb these things because there's nothing to bind them up. Fiber binds toxins and draws them out of the body. So if you're using a fiber supplement on a regular basis, you're gonna be getting rid of a lot more toxins in your body than say a person who doesn't use a fiber supplement. Once again, very, very difficult to eat enough fiber in your diet, okay? And that's why it's important to supplement. Once again, psyllium eight times per, per potency of normal food-based you know, uh, fiber products. So once again, you'd have to eat eight times the amount of oat bran as you would just taking a psyllium-based fiber supplement. So let's review. Lowers LDL cholesterol, check. Cures constipation, check. Prevents hemorrhoids, which is another thing that I mentioned, but you know that's pretty important. Anyone who's had a hemorrhoid, I never had one luckily, I've always been using my fiber, but I know a lot of people that have that have had to have them lasered off, not a fun thing to do. Removes toxins from the body and is non-caloric. And probably one of the other benefits that a lot of people utilize, at least my fiber lies for, is it fills you up. You know, if you're using two servings a day, it swells in your stomach. If you're dieting and you're hungry all the time, people drink diet soda, it tastes good, but it doesn't really fill you. Fiber fills you because it swells in your stomach, in your gut, and it makes you feel full. Um, even though you're not absorbing those calories, your body doesn't know that, so it fills your stomach. So I recommend that people use it right before bed. And then I also have them use it during the middle of the day, usually when they're not eating. I know a lot of people take my fiber life supplement, they mix, they mix it in a little bit of water, they let it sit and it swells in the glass and they put it in the refrigerator and they eat it like Jello. Or they put it in the freezer, they eat it like Italian ices. Me personally, I mix it and gulp it down. Um, but it, it tastes really good, it has a nice aftertaste so that it doesn't taste, um, it, you don't get, it kills this sawdust taste of it. Let's face it, fiber is basically sawdust before it's flavored. So we give it a nice artificial flavoring system so that it's non-caloric but that you can get it down. And once again, a lot of people enjoy eating it like a dessert, especially when they're dieting, to get rid of the, the hunger pains. Because let's face it, when you're trying to lose weight, you're gonna be hungry. There's times when you're gonna be hungry between meals. And rather than go and grab some, some nuts or whatever you're cheating with that's gonna sabotage your diet, you might as well take something that's non-absorbable, that's non-caloric. And once again, it's a healthy thing to do in, the, in addition to that. So a lot of people find that they use more fiber during the, their, the, their dieting periods. Why? Because it's easier to use then because you're really hungry. When you're not that hungry, it's hard to gulp down a fiber shake when you don't really wanna do it. But trust me, do it. You're gonna, the health benefits, the benefits to how you look and feel will be amazing. I promise you that. Okay, Dave Palumbo, 
with another RX Muscle supplement review.